Hello and welcome back to my bench. Yes, today we have again a nice uh, radio to test and it is a CRT mic. It is uh, again uh, a nice little AM FM CB radio and uh, it is uh, as well made uh, for new cars where we do not have so much space to mount it and well this uh, CRT is uh, really interesting and I'm really excited because uh, as you remember last time uh, we had uh, the Cobra uh, 75 ST on the bench and uh, well we uh, recognized some uh, issues here and there and um, the form factor itself uh, was uh, also not uh, so convincing. So, um, well, let's see uh, what uh, CRT has done um, and let's see how it will perform on the test bench. And here we can see what we have in the box. And uh, well, again, uh, and of course, user manuals. And uh, well, not so many uh, like in uh, the Cobra, but uh, this is uh, as well a European multi norm unit. So uh, that is for sure because otherwise they uh, couldn't compete against each other. So uh, that is clear. And uh, well, then uh, we have, of course, directly here our radio. And, uh, well, the first impression, without uh, having it uh, out of the box, it uh, looks smaller. It looks uh, smaller than, you know, the uh, Cobra. And, uh, yeah, so I am uh, really excited excited how this little radio works and yes it is uh, definitely uh, confirmed so uh, the radio itself so yeah the black box black uh, box itself is uh, much smaller than uh, the cobra one and uh, the uh, complete housing is like uh, a heat sink you can uh, see it uh, up here and uh, well then uh, the microphone itself is uh, you know uh, from the haptic it is uh, much nicer it is uh, not uh, such a big device so uh, it is uh, much nicer to uh, hold it in your hand. Uh, so uh, for me, that uh, from the first impression makes a, a much uh, better um, imp a better uh, impression. So um, yeah, I uh, would uh, say that uh, is uh, more convenient. Um, than uh, the Cobra uh, microphone. Well, we don't have the cigar lighter uh, adapter uh, pre-installed uh, uh, to the power cord, but uh, well, yeah, well, I do not really think that you need it. Um, normally, you would uh, uh, install it uh, in your car somewhere maybe under the seat but uh, then you would uh, definitely uh, wire it up uh, in a, a professional way and not uh, via a cigar uh, lighter adapter so I think uh, this is uh, totally okay um, the uh, power cord is uh, connected um, without an connector so that is what we uh, very often see um, in uh, modern radios because uh, it's a kind of uh, cost cutting of course well then uh, we have our antenna connector 
and uh, we have the little um, audio uh, jack for the external speaker and uh, you know that uh, it is um, the uh, connector from uh, the microphone uh, to the radio is uh, a Western uh, connector as uh, we also uh, know it from uh, many other uh, modern uh, radios because of course this is a kind uh, of cost reduction as well. A Western connector is definitely cheaper than uh, a normal solid uh, you know connector so that is more uh, cost intensive so I can fully understand that uh, manufacturers choose this connector and mm, to be honest I mean it is uh, totally okay from my point of view uh, well what I have to add is that uh, the available manuals are only in uh, English and uh, in France so there is uh, no other uh, language available with the radio so if uh, it is a problem for you you need to contact your dealer before to ask him if uh, there is a uh, manual in another language uh, available but uh, on the other hand uh, if you are uh, able to understand a little bit uh, English you uh, should be able to uh, manage it and then uh, right, so be uh, right uh, at the beginning there uh, is another huge advantage so have a look we have uh, right here at uh, the microphone additional uh, connectors and uh, what it is is uh, very simple so you can uh, put some ex external microphones to uh, this um, user panel let me let me simply call it uh, user panel because as long uh, you are using an external microphone and an external uh, PTT switch because uh, this uh, is what you can connect to this uh, additional connector then this is only your user panel and uh, if you do not want to install for instance um, another microphone then this is your microphone and of course your user panel with uh, all the uh, buttons you need to operate this little uh, radio well and you know this is exactly uh, what uh, I complained on the uh, Cobra because you do not have the chance to put any other microphone to the radio so you can't use an um, uh, pre-amplified uh, microphone to change a little bit your modulation so that is simply not easy possible with your Cobra but here you know so that is really straightforward so you are still in the position to decide what you want to do and uh, therefore that is great okay so then uh, let's uh, switch it uh, on and uh, we have uh, here our power switch we just need uh, to uh, press it and yeah it switch on and well uh, do you recognize uh, what I directly see so there is a backlight and you know that is really nice when you are um, on the road uh, in the night that uh, you can uh, finally see your display and I do not really know if uh, 
the buttons are also illuminated so mm, I can't see it right now but anyway uh, it is really nice to have an uh, illuminated uh, display which uh, we did not have uh, with the Cobra so there is another plus to this uh, little uh, CRT mic so great yeah and uh, as already said this is of course as well an a multi-norm uh, unit so you uh, can uh, change uh, the setting uh, wire uh, programming it and uh, <clears throat> well that is uh, quite simple here with this radio you press function set and then again you press uh, the function key as long that uh, band appears and then you can change uh, the norm <clears throat> wire up and down switches or buttons and uh, you see that uh, the norm uh, is already uh, changing and uh, in uh, Germany we would need DEH for uh, Deutschland high power and uh, that is uh, the norm uh, I would uh, prefer here because I want to have 4 watt RF power on FM and AM and so that is what I want and then I simply confirm it and uh, you can see it directly here in the display um, then uh, we have uh, some other information let me see if I can go a little closer so you can see uh, the voltage with, with, which is uh, connected to the radio it is 13.6 it shows us that it is 4 watt and it uh, shows it is oops, switched uh, to uh, FM and uh, volume level is displayed and this is of course our S meter and uh, well, what uh, I also like more than uh, with uh, the Cobra is the fact that uh, we do not have uh, uh, pots or potentiometers uh, to change uh, squelch level and uh, volume. Uh, here we have uh, uh, push buttons and uh, you know that is uh, definitely uh, better if uh, you consider that uh, you want to have it for a couple of years and uh, potentiometer is uh, uh, defini definitely more sensitive uh, against uh, you know dirt and dust and humidity which uh, will be always in cars or trucks and uh, therefore these uh, buttons are much more resistive against all this uh, environment uh, influences so therefore yeah you know I really uh, appreciate this solution much more than uh, the little uh, potentiometers which we have with the Cobra well and uh, the volume control is uh, not only uh, volume it is uh, also our squelch control and uh, therefore we uh, have here a side button and uh, when I press the side button so let me go uh, a little closer so now you can uh, read here in the left uh, on the left hand uh, corner that uh, volume is indicated but uh, when I press one, once uh, the uh, this uh, button um, then you see that uh, now it is a squelch level and the squelch level can be changed by uh, the volume plus and minus button as well so if you watch uh, now uh, to squelch you can uh, see it and uh, if I go down to yeah, if I go down to zero of course 
so there is no aerial not antenna connected to the radio so there is only static and uh, well so therefore uh, a very low squelch level preset uh, is uh, almost uh, okay so yeah so that is uh, as well a very nice uh, function that uh, you simply can uh, change it um, like uh, this and of course uh, this uh, radio can uh, also uh, be switched between uh, the channel indication and a normal frequency display so therefore we need uh, to press this uh, function or frequency button for uh, some seconds and then you see that uh, we have uh, then our frequency display and uh, yeah then you have again another advantage which uh, is not available with the Cobra so even it is really small here uh, in on the right uh, hand corner but uh, there you have uh, as well and uh, still our channel so you uh, have both I mean okay to be honest these letters are really small but anyway it is available and that is uh, something I have to admit is uh, much more um, yeah it is it is really a good idea to do it uh, like uh, this way then simply ignore it I mean we all know that uh, this uh, kind of display is small and it is uh, clear that uh, uh, you can't display anything but you know the uh, development uh, team really thought about what uh, they have done and uh, that uh, is something I really like okay so then uh, let's st start with uh, our tests and uh, well on receive side so first we gonna test is our input impedance or what is uh, more or less uh, equal to it is our SWR and uh, well the red line here is uh, our frequency where the radio is set to and uh, we expect a good SWR or um, at least good uh, that uh, at this point and uh, well what we uh, can read is that uh, um, where we have our uh, where we have our SW, SWR 2 to 1 and uh, where we have uh, the red uh, line here shows that uh, the SWR is uh, below uh, 2 and uh, compared to the uh, other radios uh, we have seen this is a quite nice uh, value I mean of course you always can improve it um, but this is uh, basically spoken uh, acceptable so we are below 2 and uh, that is uh, okay it is much better uh, than what we have seen for instance on the Cobra okay so next what we are gonna do is our uh, meter test and uh, yeah radio gets a level of minus uh, 73 dBm so that uh, should show as 9 but uh, we already know that uh, these uh, S-meters are not that good as we would like to see it but um, okay let me increase a little bit uh, the level um, and um, so let me see and yeah there is where it uh, jumps up to a level of uh, S9 
and uh, yeah, I'm just uh, playing a little bit uh, with the generator uh, power. I will uh, show it in a minute to you. Now you have seen that uh, it is uh, changing, and uh, well, have have uh, a look. Um, I'm gonna show you uh, the level up there, and. Uh, you see it is uh, almost uh, minus 70 and uh, minus uh, 73, 73 should be S9 so we have a delta of about 3 dB and that is again uh, much less delta than uh, we found it with the Cobra so uh, I mean uh, no doubt uh, this uh, S meters are not really accurate, but uh, anyway, this uh, is much closer to the reality than our uh, Cobra. Well, and we are already starting with our sensitivity tests and have a look what uh, you can see. So we are still feeding minus 73 uh, DBM and uh, what we find is a signer of over 40 uh, dB and that is awesome so that is uh, like uh, a ham radio a expensive ham radio 40.5 dB so that is an excellent value I didn't expect uh, this radio um, that good but this uh, good signet uh, comes of course from an excellent uh, THD so let's have a look here and uh, what you see we have really a very very low uh, THD so that is uh, the distortion level in percent so we are a little bit over 1% and uh, yeah, compare it uh, to the other radios uh, we have tested and as well compare it with the Cobra and you see the difference. So that means that uh, this uh, receiver is uh, also better with uh, a good signal uh, injected uh, to it. And uh, of course, we uh, are checking with uh, the same uh, audio uh, voltage. So ah, that is not what I wanted to see. So um, we have here 439 millivolt, which uh, we uh, give back uh, to our uh, test set and uh, that uh, is exactly the same level where we do all the tests because uh, of course we need the same uh, audio level uh, to compare all the different values and uh, that is the level what uh, I always dial in so back uh, to Synat, yeah, you see really an awesome uh, really an awesome uh, a signet, an awesome uh, signet value so that uh, is great uh, nothing uh, to complain and uh, to for the command okay so then uh, let let's let's find our yeah first of all 20 db uh, signet uh, sensitivity and uh, therefore we gonna let uh, the generator do it uh, automatically and uh, now the generator is decreasing the level uh, down to where we find approximately our 20 dB signet and we find uh, minus 112 which uh, is still very nice but uh, you see and uh, that is uh, clear that uh, the uh, audio signal starts uh, jumping that is uh, because uh, we have already a very low input level um, but still still 20 dB uh, signat and uh, that is uh, really awesome and uh, okay now let's go to our 
10 dB uh, sign it and uh, yeah generator is uh, trying to find the level and uh, yeah there there it is so it is uh, minus uh, 100 uh, 100 uh, 123 uh, dBm and uh, that is uh, still a very nice uh, sensitivity so that is of course our uh, 10 dB signet sensitivity without any uh, CCITT filtering or so so this is uh, wristband uh, um, testing and uh, that is uh, really awesome um, I'm uh, impressed I'm uh, impressed uh, by the uh, performance of uh, this little radio. Okay, and our next will be our filter whiz and uh, I have now started uh, the test and uh, let's see what uh, the result will be. We will hopefully hope have it in a minute or less. Um, Okay, so hmm, so the bandwidth is uh, nice, no problem. So it is uh, seven uh, kilohertz, but uh, well, the delta is uh, out of limit. So that means uh, we have a delta from uh, the middle of uh, 1.1 kilohertz, and. Uh, yeah, that uh, is too much. Um, this uh, should be a bit better. Um, so maybe that uh, it uh, needs a little uh, realignment in the uh, IF uh, filter stage. Okay, so then uh, let's start with uh, our transmitter tests and. Uh, yeah, first of all, power on uh, FM. So our power meter is uh, switched to average. And yeah, so that is a well known picture. So uh, as we uh, discussed it before, all the manufacturers are um, very carefully with uh, setting these values. So uh, we are below. Uh, the legal limit of four, okay, but uh, basically um, it is okay. Then let's uh, directly uh, switch it to AM. Now radio is switched switched to AM, and uh, I switch uh, here to uh, peak hold, and let's see. One two one two three oh one two one two three. Yeah, what we can see is fifteen watt peak hold, fifteen watt peak hold, and uh, when we uh, switch it to fast attack, you uh, can see that. Uh, yeah, you can uh, see values um, thirteen, fifteen, so eight, nine. So, okay, you have now an overview how it is working so far. Okay, so then let's see if uh, we have a radio which is on frequency and uh, it is dialed into 27015 and uh, that is what we would like to see. And wow, wow. So that is what we really want to see. Have a look. So that is, uh, it is uh, uh, almost uh, spot on. It is, you know, have a look. It is only three. I shouldn't talk because uh, when I talk, uh, this is the deviation what you can see. <laughs> it is only three hertz off. So that would uh, really. Uh, a nice setting for an SSB radio. If I 
uh, would see an SSB radio with this frequency stability, <laughs> I would be more than happy. So that is uh, awesome. Really, really good. Nothing to complain. It is awesome, believe me. Okay, so then let's uh, check for uh, deviation and uh, we uh, again use uh, this uh, little tool here to uh, inject our tone into uh, the microphone. Uh, also, we would be able to uh, put an external wire to it because uh, we have this nice uh, jacks uh, at the side of uh, our microphone, but uh, to have finally the same conditions, especially <coughs> sorry for this CRT and uh, for the Cobra, we do it uh, uh, like uh, we have done it on the Cobra that uh, we better can compare the values. Okay, so <coughs> therefore I increase now my audio level. Okay, and now I gonna check our deviation. Ah, scale end is uh, 3. Okay, so then we should be able to read the deviation. And it is 1.6, maybe 1.7. Well, um, it is uh, still below the limits, so we uh, could adjust it a little bit and uh, I think uh, it is a good idea to uh, increase it to 2 but uh, anyway um, it uh, is what we see with all uh, the um, the legal radios so um, as I already said manufacturers are really carefully not to exceed uh, the allowed uh, values so therefore okay that is what uh, we see uh, as well with other radios now we will check uh, for AM modulation scale end is uh, the 10 here and that means 10 is equal with 100% um, and let me increase the level here okay and now we're gonna check. Wow! So we have, uh, it is 82, 82, so that uh, is uh, definitely more, that is definitely more what uh, we have seen with uh, the Cobra and uh, some other radios. So uh, for a legal radio uh, uh, AM modulation above uh, eighty percent is uh, not too bad, but uh, well, it could be increased up to ninety, whatever. But uh, anyway, um, it is uh, higher than a lot of other radios we uh, have seen, so not bad. Okay, so let's uh, check for uh, harmonics and uh, spurious and yeah, we are sweeping uh, again from 26 megahertz up to 100 uh, megahertz so that we can uh, finally find uh, harmonics and uh, spurious um, and uh, here it is. So radio is sending with uh, 3.5 watt on FM what we know and uh, 4 watt would be uh, 36 dBm we are reading 3580 something so um, this is our carrier um, so that uh, seems to be okay and uh, here is uh, harmonic and uh, again it looks uh, too high for me um, and uh, yes of course so what you uh, can uh, find is that our harmonic is on a level of minus 30 and uh, that is really a little bit funny so this CRT radio uh, produces exactly the same harmonics 
like um, the cobra and uh, that uh, is uh, uh, something uh, to be honest I uh, do not really understand because I've uh, shown you uh, the German uh, paper so what uh, is required to uh, operate the radio here in Germany and uh, in the regulations is clearly said that uh, harmonics must be and spurious of course as well must be below minus 36 dBm and that means this level here is too high it needs to be 6 dB lower and uh, well uh, therefore um, yeah a little, I'm a little bit uh, astonished about uh, the fact that uh, these radios uh, obviously do not um, follow these uh, rules um, I don't know I um, a little bit uh, yeah I'm a little bit confused I mean this does not uh, make uh, anything uh, um, on the performance what we have seen with the radio I mean uh, these uh, harmonics are only to be uh, suppressed that uh, you do not uh, disturb uh, other uh, radio services so therefore uh, this uh, law um, is in uh, progress so that uh, is the reason why we have it um, and uh, in uh, this case and of course uh, with the Cobra uh, they are this both radius are exceeding uh, the level which uh, is required uh, to get uh, at least the CE labeling and uh, yeah so you know therefore this uh, is a little bit uh, funny and uh, I uh, just want to uh, talk uh, to some uh, manufacturers uh, I do not have an idea right now why these uh, radios are uh, not fulfilling um, the uh, required uh, values so that's a little bit uh, confusing to me okay and then uh, let's uh, do our uh, spurious uh, test as well so um, radio is still on uh, 27015 and uh, we have a wide uh, span right now watching out uh, for some uh, peaks or some needles somewhere down here but uh, it uh, looks all very clean so um, I cannot uh, see spurious within this uh, dynamic range and uh, that uh, is from my point of view uh, very nice no problem at all okay and uh, we are at uh, the end of uh, the product test and uh, well to summarize what we uh, have seen is uh, simply that uh, we have here really a nice little radio and uh, it uh, over -pre performs in uh, a lot of um, test disciplines and uh, the uh, only um, thing uh, we found was that uh, uh, the eye filter was uh, out of the middle so that is something we uh, can uh, definitely adjust so that is not really a big deal uh, also that uh, should be better uh, have been better done uh, in the factory but anyway um, and uh, well secondly our uh, harmonic uh, issue uh, that uh, this uh, CRT and as well uh, the Cobra uh, they this both uh, radios uh, do not fulfill the uh, requirements and uh, from my point of view um, the uh, CE la labeling is a minimum uh, questionable so I do not really know 
why uh, it is so, but uh, to say it uh, very clear, when you operate uh, this radio, uh, when you have bought it and uh, you are using it uh, on a daily basis, you will not recognize that uh, this radio uh, does send out a too high um, uh, harmonic level so that is nothing you recognize the uh, required uh, values are only in place to protect other radio services against um, distortions so that uh, is uh, what it is all about it uh, is uh, nothing about uh, uh, performance um, in uh, in uh, RX or uh, either in uh, TX, so you do not uh, recognize uh, any uh, performance lags. Um, even the harmonic subspression is not as it should be. So therefore, uh, except from that issue, this is really a nice little radio. I like it uh, very much. It uh, is, in my opinion, much better than uh, the Cobra, so uh, CRT does uh, really a nice uh, job. Touch and feel is uh, very nice. Size and white is uh, very nice. Haptic is uh, great. And uh, so, therefore, uh, I only can uh, recommend uh, this radio. And uh, yeah, and it is even cheaper by the way, so it is around uh, 100 uh, euro or so and uh, the Cobra is uh, 135 uh, euro so you see this radio is uh, even cheaper. Okay, if you uh, like this video and uh, if it uh, made any sense to you please give a big thumb up and uh, if not please um, please then uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you!